Doggy feet, doggy feet through the room. Here, so today I wanted to do some melt lipsticks. Um, I have always wanted to buy some. I finally broke down and bought them. Um, if you've ever watched any of my videos, I have a serious lipstick addiction. I'm not ashamed of it. I have no shame in my game because I am totally addicted to lipsticks. So um, I didn't own very many melts. I think I had one and I finally went online and I bought some more. I got three from the Rose Collection and another one from just the regular collections that they carry. So that's what we're going to go through today. Um, right now I am wearing these, this is packaging by the way. Isn't it pretty? I think it's so pretty. It's nice black packaging with nice design on it. Um, it's weird that I like packaging on stuff, but it's the truth. Um, right now I'm wearing Old Rose. I love the tubes. They are a matte finish. They click. So while well, I got it open, this is what Old Rose looks like. Again, I'm wearing it right now. It's this gorgeous muted rose shade. Um, I love the packaging because the lid clicks down. So if you have it in your purse or your pocket, it's not going to go flying all over the place. It's actually going to stay on the lipstick. You have to give it a nice good tug to get it off. So I'm going to swatch this one for you even though I'm wearing it right now. Like I said, it's a nice muted rose with a little bit of pink behind it. There we go. So that's what that one looks like. It's just gorgeous and stunning. These are so comfortable to wear. They call them matte lipsticks, but they don't wear like a matte. They don't dry completely down. Did you hear it click? They don't dry completely down. Um, they are not transfer proof, um, but they wear a long time. So you get a lot of long lasting color, but without that dryness. And these feel like you have nothing on. They're so lightweight. Definitely, I'm so glad I got these. They feel amazing on my lips. Um, they're not drying at all. So that's the first one that I got out of the Rose collection. It is called um, Old Rose. I also got on the go. I gotta find it. On the go. So this one's on the go. This one's a little bit of a lighter shade on me. Um, it's just a little bit lighter than this one. They're very, very similar. I love my dogs. So this is on the go. And on the go is just a little bit lighter shade. It has a little bit more pink to it. Um, there, that one is right there. As you can see, it's a little bit lighter than the Old Rose. Um, it's a little more pink undertone, but it's still beautiful on. It just, they feel so good on. And this shade, both of these shades are go anywhere, day or night shades. And that's why I am in love with these so much. Um, the third one that I got is called Mum. This one's the darkest of all three of the rose shades that I got. Um, Mum looks like this. It's so gorgeous. And let me swatch it for you. And there's that one right there. Um, it's the third one down. And it is, you can see they're all kind of in that same kind of pink nude family. Um, kind of that pinkish rose nude family. But this one's the darkest of them. Um, but this one also is a day or night wear anytime shade. Um, and they look so good on and they apply like a dream and they just feel damn comfortable on your lips. I am in love with them. So the other two shades that I got are kind of from the previous launches. Um, one of them that I got is called Nude. Um, I really don't wear this one a lot because it's kind of more of a um, like outfit specific or a look specific kind of shade where with these three shades I feel like I can wear them anytime I want. Um, this one is a little more of like a nude shade. Um, I, you can tell I haven't gotten a lot of wear out of it. Um, I, I'm looking for the perfect lip liner to go with this shade, but let me swatch it for you. It's a lot lighter. Um, this is also a matte, and this one is um, not as drying either. It, for mattes, they're just so comfortable. But there it is right there at the bottom. And like I said, it's just a really light shade, and it's very, very light on my skin tone. So I think if I put a lip liner underneath it to kind of bring out a little more color in it, it would look a lot better. Um, but it's definitely more of a summer, spring sort of shade. So I haven't gotten a lot of wear out of this. My battery died, so I had a little jump skip there. So anyway, we were talking about the shade Nude, and I just haven't gotten a lot of use out of it yet while I'm looking for the perfect lip liner. So the last one that I have is called Laced. Um, it is more of a um, kind of a grayish sort of mauve toned I don't know how to really describe it. It's more like a grayish. That's probably the best way to describe it. So let me get that swatch for you really quick. Before we run out of light. 
Oh, that was a terrible swatch. Forgive my swatch. Click. So there is the last one that I'm talking about. Um, it's called Lace. Um, it is also a matte. These are all mattes. But like I said, they wear so creamy and dreamy. Um, this one I have worn several times. Um, it wears great. It looks great. It looks good with kind of the fair skin tones. I think it's one of those ones that, again, will look good on anyone. Um, but it's more of a look-specific lipstick than some of the rose shades are. Um, it, because it is kind of that grayish, kind of mauve, purpley sort of undertone to it. Um, but I really do like it a lot, and I will keep wearing it. I, I just don't, I don't reach for it as much as I do the rose shades. Um, so that is it. That is my whole melt collection that I have right now. Um, I would love to add to it. I would love to add more to these. I'm definitely uh, hoping that they come out with some more of the shades that I really like, like the rose shades. Even though they really killed it with these, they really killed it with the rose shades that they put out. These three are amazing. So um, I don't know how they could do any better than that. But um, that is it for now. And I, I almost said snap you later. I'll get used to it. I'll get used to doing this just on the video. Um, it's just going to take some time. So I almost said snap you later again. Stop that. I'm not snapping. So until the next time, I hope that you subscribe. I hope that you like this. Um, I hope you come back again and see what I, if I can work out this whole video thing. And um, until then, I will see you later. Bye-bye.